Okay, so we've got a nice cock pheasant here. I'm going to show you now how to take the breast off prior to cooking. Okay, feels not too bad a bird, plenty of meat on it. But all we're going to do is take the, the breasts off and we'll use the legs for something else. Okay, so first of all, just find the breastbone. Pull a few feathers away if you need to. Then taking a sharp knife, just make a slit in the skin. Okay, and then all we're going to do is to rip that skin off the breastbone. Okay, and it should rip off nice and easy. Okay, these have been hanging for a couple of days now. Yeah, but at this time of year when it's colder, they can easily hang for a couple of weeks. Okay, so all I've done now is I've exposed the whole of the breast. Okay. Okay, taking a sharp knife, find the breastbone, which is that line that you can see running down there, and run the knife all the way down. Okay, so down until you meet the bone or the sternum. Okay, then run the knife around the front, around the wishbone, and then cut it off. Okay, and that's one of the fillets. And we're going to do exactly the same with the other side. Come down the breastbone again, around the wishbone, and cut it off. And again, another nice breast there. It's only one pellet hole in it, but that pellet will have gone straight through. And you often find them up against the breastbone itself there. Okay, now the legs, as I said before, I'm not going to use the legs. They'll go for ferret food. Uh, but they do make good eating, if you can be bothered doing the legs as well. Um, and the rest of the carcass will go as bait in a trap. And that's all there is to it. Okay, so that's two birds, four nice breasts. They just need washing off now. And then we can get them ready for cooking. The pheasant's a beautiful looking bird. And not only do we eat the meat, but we can also use the feathers. Okay, in particular the tail feathers. Although these aren't in particularly good order on this pheasant. Um, they can be used in fly tying. Okay, and each individual strand of the feather we can use for tying legs. Uh, legs on like daddy long legs and other insects uh, with, with longer legs. Okay, and then my favourite of all the feathers on the cock pheasant are these. Okay, and these are ideal for tying, tying tenkara flies. Okay, forward facing, forward hackled tenkara flies. Okay, beautiful feathers. A good knife should be kept sharp at all times if it's to do the job that it's designed to do properly. Okay, on this knife, I'm currently using uh, a blue whetstone. Okay, I'm only using water on it. It's a very fine stone, and it puts a real good edge on the knives. Okay, and that's a real good sharp edge.